Hello, everybody. So I, uh, I did want to go. So obviously, games, Paris Games Week happened this uh, this past week, and there was a lot of interesting stuff coming out. So I took I took some notes on uh, some of the stuff that happened. The pre-show was very, uh, it went for like an hour, but there was a couple interesting mm-hmm. uh, releases, and I'm gonna kind of rattle these off a little bit. Uh, so the game, the the show started with the pre-game, the pre-game, the pre-show started <laughs> with the pre-game, and I'm thinking basketball already, which there's a Miami Heat game today, by the way. Is there? I gotta, yeah, I, I don't even, I, I think it's happening soon, but I digress. The, so, <laughs> so uh, Guacamelee 2 got announced officially. Okay. Uh, Guacamelee 2 is basically a platformer with a lot of like Mexican themes. The first one was a, a extreme success, uh, at least critically. Uh, and obviously they, they made some sales if they, it, it got them excited. And that's where the indie space really, uh, to me, kind of, is a great thing. It was something that was missing from the E3 show mm-hmm. of Sony. So uh, here we go. We have we have Guacamelee two, and then they finished that. There was a, a couple of cool little things sprinkled in between, but then they finished off the show with Spelunky two. Spelunky two is getting uh, a release uh, coming soon. They're talking about 2018. So that was that was the, basically again not to take too much of the time. That was basically the 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 two biggest announcements coming out of that pre show. And then they went into the actual show. So they announced, or they revealed the trailer for Ghost of Tsushima, mm-hmm. which is the suck, Sucker Punch game that's coming out. So this is, uh, I, I mean, if you're big into Sony, you, you know that uh, Sucker Punch made Infamous. Yeah. And yeah. they made Infamous uh, Second Light, or First Light? First Light. Mm-hmm. Why did I say Second Light? Second Sun and First Light. And obviously, especially, that was a launch game, or a launch window game. And I feel like they did so many great things back then. The the game looked phenomenally, but obviously it felt a little short. Um, as far as the content is concerned, it was a very short game. And I feel like there wasn't a lot there, mainly because they were trying to hit that launch window for the launch of the PS4. So now here, there's no holds bar. Uh, there, it's a completely different take or a, a completely different um, genre that they're used to. They've been making in, in infamous games for years and years and years. And here we have a game... Uh, it's for those who haven't seen the trailer again. I'm gonna link it down in the description, but it's basically a feudal Japan uh, game that came, that came. It looks like an action kind of adventure game, and I feel like this is such a sweet spot. I feel like they nailed it, uh, at least with the vibe of the game, because this is some with Assassin's Creed just releasing Assassin's Creed Origins. A lot of people have been begging for feudal Japan for Assassin's Creed, and I feel mm-hmm. like this is. Like they're like I think they heard the Assassin's Creed yeah. like uh, kind of feedback and they said what well, shit if they're not doing it we're gonna do this so I feel like this is if you could apply that infamous formula to a game in feudal Japan with like a samurai dude I like yeah I, I'm, I'm into that whole culture with the samurai I mean that that's one of the things that that uh that it's an interesting game and I think that for sure this game is gonna do really well on the market. As in, just to sell. I, I think this game is going to be really epic. For sure. And uh, right after that, uh, Jim Ryan uh, came out on stage and he basically said, look, that's not the last surprise. And then they got into some stuff. So they got a uh, a cool little game. Uh, it's kind of like an artsy game uh, called Concrete Genie. And by the way, guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've been posting a lot of this news so you guys can stay up to date with it. So, uh, But Concrete Genie, that's coming uh, 2018. Uh, you have uh, a game called Erica, which is a playlink. It's a playlink game where, uh, again, you're 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 kind of deciding the fate of this girl. It looks very like a- a- atmospheric and and mm-hmm. tense. It feels almost like you're playing like a horror or a thriller a little bit. All right. Um, Erica's coming out, and then they rattled off a shit ton of VR games. So I was I was already like VR is dead. It's not coming out. This is gonna be like the next Vita for Sony, and and they basically I'm gonna rattle them off here. Ace Combat Seven. Resident Evil Biohazard is getting a gold edition. Uh, Rec Room, Moss, uh, Apex Construct, Bow to Blood, League of War VR Arena, Stifled, uh, Sprint Vector, Smash Hit Plunder, uh, Star Child. Uh, what the heck is this? It's your hand, it's it's your hand writing, writing, brother. Sh- <laughs> my writing is shit. Uh, something Hunger, Zombie Hunger, or some shit like that. That Ace Combat's going to be sick. Eden I- Tomorrow, Monster of the Deep, that's the Final Fantasy 15 okay. of VR. And. Then you have uh, uh, 
it looks almost like a Bond game called L- Lundo from London Studios. What the hell was the name of this game? I didn't write the name. I wrote I wrote like a bunch I wrote like a bunch of description about it, but I didn't write the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it looks like a Bond game. It's out of London Studios. It's, the first it's just a, it's shooter. a Bond game. It's a surprise. It's a Bond game. <laughs> So Daniel Craig, so, I know oh, you're working oh, oh, on that oh, here game. Here it is, uh, Blood and Truth, Blood and Truth. Okay, right, okay, okay. I, I did write it down. So, what do you think about that? What do you think about? I mean, I just named like 15 or 16 games coming to VR. Well, do you think people are like grasping the VR? People are going. And by the way, they they announced a price drop for VR also this year. So, well, I think honestly, I think that I'm not a I'm not a big fan with VR. I'm not. I'm one of those type of guys that if I play with a VR within an hour, I'll start throwing up. Yeah, I, I'm one of those type of guys. But let me tell you. I've heard a lot of good things about the Resident Evil 7 game. I've heard yeah, great things. Great things yeah. That that gold edition, and I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there's a DLC that's going to be coming out. It's called Not a Hero. You're playing, supposedly you're playing Chris Redfield. Yes. So, which, yes. Yes. that that's going to be interesting. Well, we're gonna, I'm going to check that out. Um, Ace Combat, I have not played that game in many years, but I'm going to tell you that is probably one of the best pilot games I've ever played since I was a kid. So that should oh, be fun. Man, yeah. That should be a fun um, experience, experience with yeah. the, the the VR. Yeah, it'll be so. kind of cool, like a pilot. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're a pilot in the, in the cockpit. So that's kind of cool. Those those are the two games to keep my eye on. If you're if you're interested with VR, I think Ace Combat. Um, what what is it? Ace Combat Seven. Ace or, Combat Seven. Jesus Skies Christ, Christ, it's Seven already, bro. Yeah. Jesus, man. The game that got me going when I was uh, man, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna ramble on again, but basically Afterburner. If they would bring back oh, yeah, Afterburner, yeah, yeah. yeah, that would be fucking yeah. cool. So yeah, then uh, then Jim Ryan came back out on stage and he basically these are these are the partner games. So these are uh, not exclusive to PS4, but they have some sort of exclusive content. So Ubisoft uh, came out with a together trailer for uh, Far Cry 5, which basically is gonna have like this sh- the whole. Game I did is, see that. Yes, the whole game is shareable, or, or you, you can share the whole. Have game. you seen the Paul in the multiplayer uh, a video on that? It looks really it, it, good. Jesus it looks Christ, really good. That, that looks that looks really interesting. I, I will tell you this: Ubisoft, out of the big developers, because uh, I want to say that it's my favorite games, but I think out of the big developers, they're my favorite. I mean, they're supporting the Switch with things like Mario Kart Rabbids. They're uh, so they're doing a great content with uh, with PlayStation. They already said that they're not going to be releasing any story uh, DLC or charging mm-hmm. for any story DLC going forward. They don't want Rainbow Rainbow Six, of course. Rainbow yeah. Six, they, they're doing great. I think Ubisoft. The thing is, Ubisoft they they like to uh, get involved with the community, like to hear the feedback, right. and I think that's very important. The fact as an industry to be doing that, I think that's really cool. So I mean, Ubisoft, I think you guys are doing a great job. Keep up with the work. So for sure. Uh, then uh, Bungie Destiny Two expansion, Curse of Osiris is coming out defend- December December fifth, December first, first to a PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Uh, exclusive, Capcom. yes, absolutely. The first year is going to be uh, Sony exclusive. I don't know how how it works with the uh, with the deal, but yes, I I did read up about it. Um, yeah, so it's coming out no, uh, December uh, the fifth. Curse of uh, Osiris. Their uh, players will be able to reach level twenty five and uh, power level to three thirty. So that's interesting. Um, oh yeah, the light level. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, one of the cool things for for Sony fans for Destiny two. Um, crucible map. There's going to be a new crucible map. It's called Warm Heaven. So that's going to be interesting because I, I play a lot of the crucible. I know you're not a huge fan with Destiny, bro. So we're going to have to get you back in, into that, man. I'm gonna have to, I, I will tell you this. I, I will probably get hooked because I love the the gameplay that that uh, Halo is It's my favorite first yeah. person shooter of all time. So, um, and then this one's kind of interesting. So Capcom came, uh, is the next partner, and they, with Monster Hunter Worlds, which it's a super anticipated game. It's actually the most anticipated game according to a Famitsu survey that I that I, uh, I revealed in the last show. Uh, and this one's kind of cool because you're going to be able to play exclusively with as Alloy, which is the hero from from Horizon mm-hmm. uh, and and Monster Hunter World. So that's their exclusive. And if you're a PS Plus member, you're going to be have access to the beta on December okay. 9th. So keep your eye out for that. Uh, and then uh, Activision 2, World War 2, uh, which we all know just came out on November 3rd. Is gonna have a DLC called The Resistance, which is coming out 30 days first on nice. PS4. Nice. And then this one was a surprise. So Codemasters is has a game, um, and they didn't say anything exclusive per se, but it's it's a game called Unrush. So mm-hmm. Codemasters is the same people that made Dirt 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 Two. Uh, uh, what was the other game that I was a big? Oh, it was it was like a top tier game. I forget the name of it now. It escapes me, but. 
they're coming out with a brand new racer game. I love racing games. So this is an arcade racer. And then DICE, uh, they have they showed in-game in footage or in-engine in footage of Battlefront 2, which you're super yeah. stoked about. Mm -hmm. So all that was shown on stage. And then my most anticipated game. So now that Mario's out of the way, my most anticipated game... Well, there's two uh, two anticipated games. This is this is by far the most anticipated. My second most anticipated game is Dragon Ball uh, Fighters. I, I've I've I, listen. I've heard good things about that. I'm not a huge fan a fanatic oh, anymore man, with Dragon Ball looks, Z. It looks so. Last good. time I saw Dragon Ball Z was the Cell Saga. To me, that was the best thing that I've ever seen in my oh, entire life. Man. I need to keep up, but I did hear. Um, so you miss Majin Buu. Majin Buu I, I, right, I, so. I miss a whole shitload of Dragon Ball uh, yeah. now, but I did he hear about the new game that's coming out with the Dragon Ball Z. I heard a lot of good things about it. So. I've seen gameplay on it. It looks intrigued. So um, I don't know. I might I might test it out. You know, sorry, Injustice Two. I might <laughs> I, I might have to go dude, to that. Dude. So I think I think it's gonna be hype. But but uh, the reason I mentioned Ask is that as hyped as I am for that game, mm -hmm. I am more hyped for this game. And this is a PS4 exclusive, Insomniac's Spider-Man. Oh, that that game! So they showed a new trailer. I, I saw that trailer, and let me let me tell you guys that that Spider-Man game. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is this Spider-Man game is gonna beat Spider-Man 2. As most of you guys know, that Spider-Man 2 was the best game because it it kind of uh, expanded the open world for Spider-Man. Right. And I'm gonna tell you, I after watching the the first video, and then I saw this video. Uh, this past week, um, man, I'm I'm hooked on it. I'm crossing my fingers that that game might be coming out in summer 2018. They only did say that it's going to be coming out 2018, so we have to keep our eye on that. But I'm going to tell you, that game <laughs> is going to be really great, no matter what. So, so I w I was a little underwhelmed with the with the uh, with the quality of the the characters, and maybe th that was because. Uh, we saw like God of War looks so great, uh, mm -hmm. and, and we'll talk about it now. But the the gameplay looks phenomenal, so I'm super stoked to be able to get like that. I feel like it's like that Sunset Overdrive kind yes. of vibe yes. or, mm -hmm. or mobility in a Spider-Man game, and that's gonna be super super great. So that's the game that I'm most uh, stoked about. After that, they show Quantic Dreams Detroit Become Human, which is a pretty rough trailer. Yeah, yeah, um, I think so. It, it it was a it kind of dragged a little bit, don't you? It it did a little bit, but that those games are very story he heavy, and it's about um making decisions and and altering history a little bit. So depending on how you play the game, uh, it it would uh, influence the result. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I don't know if if I like it or not. I definitely like the aesthetic. It looks freaking phenomenal. Uh, but I don't know if it's a game that I'm gonna be into. It feels like a like a souped up uh, or a better looking uh, kind of Telltale game. So um, I'm interested to see. I'm gonna keep my eye out for that. But they showed that. Um, what the hell did I write here? Dude has robot take care of daughter. <laughs> my show notes. My notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, let's see what else. So the, uh, right after that, they showed God of War. A uh, God of War trailer. So they showed some gameplay and it's basically. Uh, they emphasize more of that relationship between his him son. and his son. Right. Uh, and his son in this game is kind of directing him, saying, "Oh, screaming in the background, oh, dad, like, mm -hmm. like dad, or whatever." But he's like, "Oh, go get him, whatever." So I, how I don't do you know think, why. How, we do, how do you think? How How do you think the AI is going to work in that game? How do you think? I because I've always been the type of guy. If you work, if you get a game and you have to get an AI as your partner, is it going to be? Is it gonna just be a dumb? I don't AI? know. I don't know that he's fighting. I think he's just there for kind of a story element. Uh, I guess we'll we'll see if if the kid's playable. But um, that'll I'm, be an interesting. I'm take. already I'm already stoked because the fact that they kind of changed God of War how it was for the past three previous games uh, from God of War from one through right. three, if I'm not mistaken. But wouldn't it be crazy if they just this is this is all like a tease about the beginning of the game and they made it's basically. Uh, him with his son for the first hour, and then mm -hmm. he like dies or something. And his son that, takes that, over. That'd be, that, that'd Can be you imagine that shit? That, that'd be crazy, man. I I just hope that they don't do. Uh, they just don't do a a, a Marcus, you know, crying out loud, dumb as in Gears of War. <laughs> if you uh, guys remember that one, so uh, right after that, they ba gave, uh, basically gave us a reminder of uh, Horizon Frozen Wells releasing on November seventh. Um, so the complete edition, which I didn't mention on any releases, is November seventh. The DLC and the complete edition is coming out forty nine ninety nine. I think that's nice. a, that's a, a cool price. And then 
they showed gameplay for the first time of Shadow of the Colossus. So they did show that, a teaser trailer in E3. That looks amazing. It looks man. really good, right? Have you ever played the first one? I missed it, man. I missed it. And the then I tried going back to it, but it doesn't... I guess it's, it's like... It look, feels very old. So how it works is... The first one, it's pretty much... I, I don't know that much of the story. I just did play the gameplay. But I, I played the first one, guys. And that was that was a really great game. It's pretty much you fight bosses. Uh, it's just your... So it's your, like a boss rush? Yeah, it's just like that. Um, but after I saw that, I mean, I, I, I like that. That's a, probably one of the top games in my list. Um, but was there a release date for that one? So, no, they didn't show a release date. But actually, yeah, February 20, uh, February. Oh, man, I have it. I posted it on my Instagram the date. So, I February. That maybe it's in February. It's in the middle of February. I think. So, supposedly Shadows of, of Colossus comes out of uh, February 2018. Um, I mean, like I said, that, that was a really great game. For, to be exclusively to the, the Sony, for sure. Oh, that man, that's a huge gap for them. So yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I thought it was going to be, the, when they first announced that, I thought it was going to be like a more like uh, uh, in the vein of um, The Last Guardian, like a little janky yeah, yeah, a little PlayStation bit like 3 kind of gameplay, but it doesn't feel that way. It doesn't look that way. Uh, and then they closed off the show with probably the, the the most anticipated game of a lot of people, not necessarily me, but mo most people are waiting for this game. It's Last of Us 2. So there was a lot of controversy with this trailer. So they showed a very grotesque, very violent um, kind of... Um, like the Walking vibe. Dead type of style. Yeah, so... I mean, we all understand that this this world is very, like, horrific. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very, po you know, po it's post-apocalyptic, kind of uh, zombie run kind of world. And, but they, they basically show the trailer... And it shows like this this lady that's basically gonna get gutted. They're hanging her and they're basically gonna gut her stomach. And I mean, if I, I'm not gonna describe it so much, but it, the point of it is very grotesque. So it was getting a lot of like bad hype, saying like, you know, why are they showing me this? Like, this is not convincing me to buy uh, Last of Us Two, which is, if anything, is deterring a lot of people. And you gotta remember, like, the, there was probably like 300,000 people watching this stream, mm -hmm. and some of those people are kids. And while the games are rated the trailers or not and that's why they can get away with some of this stuff so i wonder if that did more of a negative thing obviously the people who are hyped about this game are going to like that trailer because they mm -hmm. understand what that world is for the but the, for the people who don't know this game they got I'll, I'll, I'll be one of those guys i'm gonna be one of, i'm gonna be one of those sorry to cut you up i'm gonna be one of those guys i've never played the first one i need to play the first one for sure yeah. everybody's been telling me javi you need to play the last of us that is a really important game right, right there guys Last of Us remastered. Um, um, I did see the, the the first trailer that came out, which was a big hype in E3. If I'm not mistaken, it was the E3 yeah. when they released mm -hmm. the new trailer for, uh, well, the first trailer for The Last of Us Part Two, and I mean, it, it looks good. I think that's that's a. There are some games that emotionally that you get attached to it, and I think this is going to be an emotional game, right. where characters are going to decide what's going to happen with them. Are they going to make good decisions, bad decisions? I did hear a lot of the fact that Last of the, the, the Last of Us, the first one, was a really emotional like game. That it, right, it just, right. It, 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 it breaks. It resonated you. with a lot of people. Yes, yeah. yes. So I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna check that out sometime before the end of this year and give it a try.